All right, welcome back to the Corporate Finance Academy. Today we're just going to go through how to create a basic or simple financial model in Excel. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some basic information and we're going to create a P&L and then we're going to forecast that P&L out for a few years. Uh, oftentimes you'll hear this referred to as a pro forma. So with that, let's dive right in. Okay, so we're going to dive into building this model. One of the first things I like to make sure we do is kind of format as we go. Uh, we want this to be able to be printed or on a PDF clean, so we'll make this background all white. I also always bring this quick little key in here, bring that in. Um, you want to have your inputs shaded in gray, you want to have your hard codes in a blue font, and calculations or formula stuff you don't touch in a black font. Okay, so from there, we're going to start to build this out. We're going to have actuals and historicals. And let's say that we have those for 2017, or let's say 2018 and 2019. And then we're going to have a forecast or a budget, we'll just call it forecast for 2020, 2021, and 2022. And one thing you'll notice, some people will merge and center these so that they across the columns that they represent. I actually like to just kind of um, move them manually. That way they don't get messed up if you want to insert columns later. You don't have to deal with any problems there. Um, I also will change the formatting on these a little bit, both for looks and for and we'll divide it so we'll have light blue, we'll show our actuals, and we'll have our forecast in, uh, in this lighter blue here. Okay, so from there, we need to get some information. So if we're, we've got a business here, we're going to have actuals or assumptions that we're going to start with. And we'll format these here so first thing you're going to have we're going to assume we have a business where we build a product and you have some amount of units uh, that you're selling or a quantity that you're selling and we're going to have a price that we charge for that and we're just going to kind of make that up as we go so we're going to say it was we sold 220 units in 18 and 225 in 19 and we charged 100 dollars in 18 and then we increase that price to 104. And ultimately, your price times your units is going to be your revenue. So to get to that revenue, it's simple multiplication. And we can drag that right across here. And now these are hard-coded actuals. So we're going to have those be in the blue. And then these are actual calculations here. And these will be in the black. So then we have a cost. What does it cost us to make the product? And then you're going to have a cost to get sold. So let's say our cost to make the product was $41 last year, and it's $43 this year. Your cost, since you already have your quantity, is just your cost per unit times your number of units. And somewhere to the above, that gives you your cost to get sold. Again, keeping the format right as we go. Uh, so that we know what's kind of hard-coded and ultimately you want to limit the number of things you hard code But if they're actuals, then they're always going to be hard-coded Now you have wages and salaries um, Now we have other Now we have other expenses that we need to make sure we account for so let's keep this simple Let's say we have the wages salaries benefits that we pay uh, our employees We've got a lease the building that we own, we have marketing expenses, we have insurance, and let's just say we have some other in here as well. And again, we're going to hard code these. Let's call this 2000, we'll call this 2210, the building lease. Let's just say it's 1850 and it goes up to 1950 in a year. Marketing is, let's call it 1100, and we're going to say we're going to ramp up our marketing efforts next year. Insurance, let's say that that's 700 going up to 800. And other will be um, all our other operating expenses. Let's call it 500 and 700. 
So then you're going to have operating expenses. And we're just going to sum these up. A good shortcut for that is just to hit Alt equals. And that will automatically calculate that for you. But again, let's keep our formatting going right as we go down. And since this is a bit of a, some of these are kind of subtotals. So we'll bold those to make them stand out a bit. And next you can have taxes. So um, let's do this as a rate. So let's make this um, an input and let's call our corporate tax rate 35%. And for formatting, we're gonna line that right with the rest of our numbers. So that's, that's, that's it in terms of your inputs. So then you'd wanna create an income statement or P&L from that. So, oh, as you scroll down, you'll realize you don't want to have to be scrolling up or down to remember where you're at. So we like to freeze pane so that we can see. Okay, first line of your income statement is your revenue. Let's skip a line here for formatting. And your next line is going to be cost of goods sold, COGS. And those ultimately we've already calculated. So we can just grab that from above and we can drag those over. Okay, so your revenue, your cost of goods sold, and so your revenue, you get your cost of goods sold. What we're gonna then have is gross profit. And gross profit is simply your revenue minus your cost of goods sold. And that's gonna give you um, your gross profit. And again, I kind of try to, to some extent, format as I go, especially if I have a good plan. Um, so we'll add gross profit line in there. And then we're gonna get into expenses. And to do this, we can just grab what we have above. And we can drag that down and across. And that way, if anything changes, um, it'll flow, if you change anything up here, it'll flow down below and you'll see that change. So now we have total expenses, which a good tip here, again, all equals. And let's get the format right here. Total expenses then gets aligned. And now the next thing you're gonna have is operating income. Operating income is simply gonna be your gross profit minus your total expenses. And we're gonna format this just like we formatted gross profit. And then the only thing you have left now is taxes. And taxes are simply your operating income times your tax rate. Yeah, the couple zeros on for us, we'll get rid of. And lastly, uh, your bottom line or your net income is your operating income minus your taxes. And that is our income statement for the actual years we have it. Okay, so now the question is, how do we forecast this out going forward? So let's take a simple approach. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say that our units, our volume grows 7% a year. So we're gonna say times 0.07, and we're gonna run that out to the right there. And then our price, we're gonna say we raise that by 3% a year. So times 1.03. And revenue is the same math that we had before. Units, costs, so you're typically gonna have some element of inflation. Let's say that we're gonna fight inflation here and we're gonna keep it low at 2%. So we're raising our cost inflation at only 2%, but our price at 3%, which is good for our margins. And cost to get sold, we've already got that formula in there, so we'll just copy that to the right. And now let's say that our inflation on, we'll go, we'll go account by account here. Let's say we're gonna give our people on average a raise of, and, and the benefit costs will increase by 4% a year. So we're gonna run that over. The building and lease, 
well, let's say that that is actually contractual, and that's just going to go up by 100 per year. We're going to have marketing at, um, we'll say marketing goes up at 3.5% a year. Depends on 0.035. Insurance, um, let's say that that's going to go up at 3%. Other, we're gonna challenge. We're gonna challenge ourselves to hold other flat. Should be challenging, but we'll. Now, one thing I'm noticing that I forgot as I went through here is these are all hard codes, so they should all be in blue here. Okay, so now we've projected all this out. We're gonna say that our corporate tax rate holds flat. And now, ultimately, all we have to do is drag our income statement to the right, and it gives us our new answer. So here, we would have our income statement forecasted out for three years. Now, one thing maybe worth checking is to look at our net income as a percentage of our revenue. As we look across, we've got a 20% margin business growing all the way to a 24% margin business. So we're definitely getting some leverage as we go through time here. This is just a simple model. There's a lot you can do. Um, there's sensitivities you could run, but just wanted to take you through a very simple model. Okay, so one last thing that we like to do is we wanna make sure this is easy for someone to print or create a PDF. So we're going to set the print area here and then we're going to go in and we're going to say because this is fairly it resembles a landscape we'll keep or a portrait formatting orientation we'll keep it there we're going to fit it to one page okay um, and then we want to save it like that so now if you went and looked at a print preview you can see that it fits nicely on a page you could also export it to a PDF and create a PDF. Um, and it makes it easy for anybody who picks this up to be able to, to make it usable. So that's it. Now you have your, um, you have your full financial statement. Um, if you, you actually could condense some of this if you wanted to and uh, group it if you only want to show the income statement, um, but you could expand it and you could adjust your print settings accordingly. But that's it. This is just a simple financial model uh, to be able to take basic information and do a quick look at what your revenue, costs, expenses, and ultimately your income looks like. It gives you a, a forecast over three years. You could obviously run this out later. But this would be a good start for anybody who's trying to get a high level understanding even of your own business or if you're just practicing your modeling abilities or you just want to do something back of the envelope, back of the napkin. Hopefully that's helpful. Be sure to leave questions as you have them. Basic information and we created financials in a forecast. Um, just want to touch on some very basic modeling tips. This isn't getting into anything advanced. but. One is you want to remember formatting. Hard code or hard codes or actuals, you're going to have those in a blue font. Formulas and calculations, you want to keep in a black font. Um, input cells where people are, can change or toggle things, you put in a shaded cell. You really want to avoid hard codes wherever possible, especially where there's a lot of formulas um, in surrounding cells. Um, obviously, actuals are frequently going to be hard codes, but avoid them where possible. It's good to leave comments or notes in a cell to clarify what you've done. Uh, we didn't do that in this as we went through it quick, but it's useful. You want, you don't, you also don't want to overcomplicate your spreadsheet. Some people get really into naming cells or cell ranges or using formulas that very few people can decipher. Um, it's much better to have something that somebody else can pick up and work from. So you want to try to simplify where possible. And then it's just a useful thing, especially early in your career, to make sure you're always formatting something to print 
or to be in export into a PDF quickly. Uh, iPads especially, a lot of you know, management likes to see things in a PDF. Doing those. That's all we have for today. If you have any questions, thoughts, leave them below. Please be sure to subscribe um, and like or dislike the video either way. And thank you for your time. We'll be out with more content shortly.